Hi, I'm Shelly Young, owner of The Chopping Block, and today I'm going to teach you how to make velouté. Uh, velouté is one of the classic five French mother sauces. So the first step in making our velouté is to make a roux. I've got two tablespoons of unsalted butter. The pan is moderately heated. This is just a, a two and a half quart stock pot. So we're going to melt this butter. Now traditionally, a basic velouté is two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, which we would stir and cook a little bit. And then we would add two cups of white stock, either chicken or fish traditionally. But today I want to embellish the velouté a little bit. Uh, this is not a sauce that's usually used just plain, uh, which would have be the roux and the stock. We usually embellish it with some nice flavors, but I decided to do that today. Um, I love a little shallot, so I've got one small shallot here that I've minced. Uh, there is nothing more French smelling to me than a little bit of butter and a sauteed shallot. It just, oh, it's so delicious. And I'll just need to cook that for a few seconds. And I add two tablespoons of flour. Then we're going to stir that. You know, the best way to make a sauce is to use cold stock. So I'm going to add that and then I start to whisk. When you add cold liquid, it stops the cooking and you're, you're not going to get any lumps. This is a half cup of dry white wine. This will have the sauce cook a little bit longer because we're going to have to cook out that wine taste. So I'm going to stir this occasionally, have it on a, a simmer, and let this cook for about 15 minutes. I can see we've got some big kind of slow moving bubbles. That's one way to check consistency. Also as I'm stirring it I can just see the body. Um, but what I really want to do is check it on a spoon. So if it clings to the spoon, but you can see the spoon, that's about the right texture, the right thickness. Uh, so the sauce, once it reaches this state, I'm going to really turn that down to low. We haven't salted this. You're really going to want to do that to, to taste because it's going to depend on the stock that you've used and how salty it is. This one is very low sodium. Um, I'm using black pepper, a little bit of black pepper. Uh, a lot of people prefer white pepper. I don't I don't have an objection to the look of black pepper in something, and I'm more of a fan of black pepper than white. So, but we want to season this with salt and pepper after you've reduced it. If you season it with the salt and pepper in the beginning, it can get over seasoned. Uh, one of my very favorite things, and certainly classically French, is tarragon. This is fresh tarragon. I'm going to also add some mustard. This is a Dijon mustard and really just a smidge, about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard or to taste. And another thing, occasionally people will finish velouté with cream. You can use a tablespoon of cream if you choose, or two. Uh, but you can also use cold butter. This is cold unsalted butter. And you can leave that out entirely. You can use the sauce as it, as it was um, without the cream or the butter. So we've made a, a basic velouté, but we've embellished that today with some Dijon mustard, some tarragon, a uh, little white wine. So those flavors would be lovely served over a grilled chicken breast or a poached chicken breast, uh, great with seafood or over eggs as well. Um, I could change the seasonings in this, add a little tomato puree and a little fresh basil. That would be beautiful over a grilled pork loin. So this is just the basis to start with. You can change it up. Let me just taste this. Mm, I actually do think it needs just a smidge more salt. And add that. So season it to taste. Embellish this as, as you will. And that is how you make velouté.